I'm meteorologist Chicago Windler in Leander, Texas. National Dinosaur Day is June 1st, and believe it or not, you can actually find dinosaur tracks millions of years old right down this riverbed. Let's take a look. I know it's a half a mile from the bridge back behind us to see the dinosaur tracks. Are we getting close to the dinosaur tracks? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right around the turn where it flattens out. Thank well you so much. I think we found them. Tracks. Let's go. There you go. Look at the size of that. Okay, so I know that there are multiple tracks, but these definitely are dinosaur tracks that we have found. And it's kind of easier to see them with a little bit of water and some of those indentions. Look at that. We found them. Show them. Go look. So how are we able to see these tracks millions of years later? Back when dinosaurs roamed the earth, they went through the mud and left muddy footprints, just like we would if we walked through a muddy trail. Then over a long period of time, those footprints were filled by sand and pebbles, which hardened them into stone. Then millions of years later, erosion, the effects of wind as well as water from here at the San Gabriel River, weathered them away to what we see today. It looks like raptor. There's one and there's two. Texas is known for its dinosaur tracks. There are 12 right here in a row. Also, an area north of here called Glen Rose has Dinosaur Valley State Park, certainly worth a visit. If you're not from this area, though, you might just do an online search for dinosaur tracks near you, and you may be able to explore prehistoric times right from your own backyard.